What's up guys? Today I'm going to do an iPad app review and I want to review two different type of film slates you can use for your films or for your videos. The first one we're going to review is Hukula? Hukule? I don't know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong but you saw the name there. You can find it in your app store for uh, free actually. And uh, let's just quickly go over it. Just looking at it right off the bat you see it's your pretty much basic film slate. Uh, not a lot of information to put in at all so this is more so will appeal to people who really not going to be doing movies necessarily but maybe just want to use this to keep track of and make it easier to name their files so I've probably we see a lot of people using this either using a date the frames per second and a production title mostly just as so when you put it on your computer this is going to be the first frame that shows up already has the name right there you can go ahead and change the name on your computer. So it's pretty basic. If you read the reviews, you're going to read about some problems with the clock. And I'm going to show you that right now. So when you click up, click your up here, it raises the bar up. You have to click it again. Then it starts the time. And if you want to stop, you have to click. But it's not going to stop yet. You have to click it again for it to clap back down, which is not a problem. If you start it again, it just continues the same clock time. You have to stop it again. If you want to set this back to zero, you have to double tap it. Now, you see I double tap. This went up, but the time just automatically started. And if you click back, it stops. So, basically, if you want to stop it in one second, you have to hear it and click so it'll stop. But even then, it's still going. So, as you can see, it's some issues with the clock. I think they're working on it. Maybe not. That's uh, the problem with this. The other major problem with this is it doesn't remember information you put in. So, for example, I'm going to input a title. I'm going to stop the time. I'm going to exit out the app and go back into it. And you see it's changed back to an awesome movie. So that's the problem if you keep the same thing like the director name always stays the same and frames per second always stays the same then you always want to take the start at one it won't do that you always have to go in and change it but luckily it's not that many things you have to change it's so basic but still just a point and so because I was a little basic and didn't remember I was looking for one that was fairly reasonable as far as in price you know cheap and could remember and had the information I needed to put in my uh, slate and I found I film slate that's a I capital F film slate all together if you look that up in the iPad store you will find it for $1.99 and for two bucks um, it does what I want to do it remembers the text um, as you can see you have uh, sections for production title the scene which I really like because I will probably be doing different scenes and things. It's nice to know what scene I'm doing because as one of the other ones just had a production title. But they give you a scene. The production title is going to stay the same if you're working on one project. But your scene is not necessarily going to stay the same. So it's nice that you have an input for scene. Uh, the, the only thing you can change is the time and the date. Those stay the same. It's actually set directly to the current date and current time. And it stays like that. Nothing you can do about changing that. Uh, you have the director, you can put a note, a camera, resolution, and frame per second. So, really like that you can do that. Just click on it to edit it. That's a little arrow here to jump down to the bottom. Arrow here to jump back to the top. You can click the X to just clear that out. I'm going to put some notes right there. Click on the settings, which is the little small button there. Got your text, change the color, the label, change that to white, make the text dark if you want. So you can do that. You got the clap, you hear the beat. And MOS, I'm not sure what that is yet. But yeah, that is the iFilm Slate tab. And if, like I said, for $2, it's pretty good. I like it, it does what I want to do gives me the important information I need, which is my camera, what resolution I'm doing, which frame per second I'm doing, if I need to make a note as far as what lens I'm using, or aperture, or shutter speed, what scene I'm at, uh, the date and the time, and a production title, 
those are pretty much the important things that I was looking for in a film slate for my video so that's why I got this app instead of using a free one because it just didn't have enough stuff for me so this is iFilm slate and the other one was Hoopla Hoopla was free iFilm slate which is this is $1.99 make sure you check back